For this episode of Fun Facts, we dive deep into the history of the lovely church of Onisanti. This was the family church of the famous painter Sandro Botticelli, who made this fresco, which is now a pendant of a fresco by Ghirlandaio, in the same church. The famous explorer Americo Vespucci called the Onisanti also his family church. His entire family went to Mass here every Sunday, and here is where he was buried. The story of the life of Botticelli is impossible to tell without mentioning this very church, because according to legend, this is the place where he fell in love with a married woman, La Bella Simonetta Vespucci, yes, a niece of Amerigo. Sandra was commissioned to make a painting of La Bella months before she would die. But it didn't stop there. He made another portrait of her, and another one, and he used her in many of his famous paintings. We recognize her in the Primavera as one of the three graces. She might also be the Venus in Venus and Morris. And here she is again as Venus in Sandro's most famous painting that he made years after her demise. Poor Sandro, he was totally in love with a woman with whom he could never be in real life. And that is also why the church of Onisanti is so important in this story. In the Vespucci chapel we find the tomb of Simonetta. She tragically died at a very young age of 22 in 1476. Sandro went to live on for another 34 years, and all those years he never forgot his muse, painting her into many important masterpieces. He died in 1510 and had taken care of a very important matter to him. He had acquired a tomb nearest to that of Simonetta, and now he forever rests at the feet of his one and only great love, La Bella Simonetta. This was just another fun fact from Florence. You're welcome.